Good morning folks, welcome back to TBF. If you're new to the channel, TBF is a small Scottish charity that builds drinking water pipelines in rural Nepali communities. One of the many ways we raise funds for our pipeline projects is to invite tourists here in Nepal to take part in a doku challenge. A doku is a traditional Nepali basket which is woven out of bamboo. They walk a mile in the shoes of Nepali villagers and carry a heavy basket of water from a tap in the jungle back to the village. I then make a YouTube video out of their challenge and we set up a Just Giving page so that any of their friends and family who see what we're doing and are in a position to be able to support can donate to the cause if they'd like to. For the last week I've been joined by Chris and Wendy Watts who've been generously supporting TBF for the last couple of years and Wendy and I have pretty much been pen pals throughout that time. So it's really, really lovely to finally meet them both and I'm extremely grateful to them both for taking part in the Doku Challenge. Well, here's a Doku Challenge for you. Why don't you carry their water down to the village for them? <laughs> uh, honestly, that's what I was thinking. If we meet anyone at the tap, this is the best time to do a Doku Challenge because do you want that girl to carry it or do you want to carry it? Oh, go, on. Uh, go on, Chris, you can how do that. Is it, how many, how many... How much is in there? There's going to be a lot more if you're carrying it than, than if she's carrying it. She'd, pro she'd probably do about 12. We, you could you could go for 20. I just missed that slightly. Right there. You do? I just have a cup of water. Lowney. No, you. This one. This one. 35. 35. Or, you know? Bottle. That's a bottle, yeah? That's a... I started that one. It's a balance. Okay. It's a balance. Cup of water. It's a bottle. Sub, sub bottle. Sure bottle. So, bara, bara. Bara, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. 2.25, aren't they? Okay, so he's six, six bottles. 2.25 litres each. So, it's about 12. 13.5. 14, 14, 14, yeah. 15, 15, 14. Yeah. Okay. No, so, that's a good first. Good first. Okay. Okay. First, you know, only one. Like <laughs> <laughs> and then, Wendy will, Wendy will outshine you and do like 14. <laughs> Good, but I do could challenge I think I think you've got this, Chris. It's like a pretty sturdy, sturdy bloke. And um, this is who you're giving a holiday to. So, exactly. You know, she, I think she's about a quarter of your of your size. size yeah. yeah. No, she's less than a quarter of my age. Uh, yeah. Eighth of my age. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow. Well. And you. <laughs> Saying you're a big man. I want to see this. Bit. You want to see this bit? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Over the forehead, maybe. Yes. Your oldness. Oh yeah, yeah. Which is the deal on this? That's it. Express yeah. that. Ah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. How you doing? Chris? All right. It's that. Maybe, maybe it's straight there. Is it okay? Feels all right. Feels all right. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, Jojo. Okay, you ready? Chris? We'll see you in the village. Nam sari Too much. Too much. Thank you. Anga, you two tipe. Teacher. Drop any water. Are the lids on? Yeah. yeah, 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 we're all good. All right, Chris, this is your Doku challenge, mate. Well done. Thank you. Well, I'll say well done when we get there. Yeah, not done yet. Little stumble. Oh, no 360s. We had a 360 in the last video. Good man. As long as it was that way round and not that way round. Yes, that was the, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, he absolutely nailed it, actually. You all right, you got this? You got it, yeah. Yeah. Go on, Chris. What's that, sorry? It's not going to do the arthritis in my neck anymore. Oh, probably not, no. <laughs> I should have got you to sign a consent form. You should, yes. <laughs> and now I can sue you. Right? Yeah. My mum did say that to me a while ago, actually. She's like, it's, it looks a bit dangerous here. You're going to hurt someone eventually. Yeah, man. Your neck, yeah, like, when I did that for like a month solid, <laughs> my neck, it felt like Bones my neck had got, yeah. Like a bull. Yeah. Here we go. How does it feel, okay? It's, um, okay, it's a bit, uh, you can feel it here on your neck. We're not used to carrying heavy objects on our head. No. I'm surprised they didn't develop a shoulder system for that. A lot of people say that. I don't. I just kind of think that because they've done it for so many generations oh, yeah. that it obviously works. Yeah. But yes, as, you, as you notice, you get used to it pretty quick. It, your muscles adapt. Yeah. So imagine uh, like that level of adaptation over generations. Yeah. That's, a... That's, a... That's a... 
It's hard to tell, you know, and as I say, until we start pumping water through it, it's really hard to tell yeah, where, the where the damage actually is, because a lot of it's underground where it wasn't underground before, and a lot of it's exposed now where it was underground before. And this is it, welcome to Beamery, after all this time. Oh god, I hope he doesn't live back the way. Uh -oh. oh no, I'm not too sure who that was. Wow, see look how far out, look. Our pipe was, this was all submerged underground, so look how far out it's gone. Yeah. It's mental. Chris, post-match review, how are you feeling? Okay. Yeah. Too bad at all. The neck was a bit bit stiff there, or was it? No, you could feel the pressure oh, there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, not bad. So to put it into perspective, you you carry twelve liters. Yeah. So a buffalo drinks one hundred and fifty a day. Yeah. All right. So that's what 10, 12 trips for the buffalo. The average family uses about one hundred and twenty liters a day. That's so that's bar. another ten. Yeah. So if you're day. doing that, doing namaste, namaste. If you're doing that level, if you're carrying that much. You're doing what, 20, 22? Yeah. 22 times a day. Okay, so Chris has completed his doku challenge. Well done, Chris. And But now the person whose doku we took didn't arrive in Beamery. We don't actually know where they are. So we're going to take the doku back towards the tap and hope that we can find the owner. Mm, here we go. That's quite funny, actually. Massive thanks to Chris for taking part in his Doku Challenge and just for being an absolute legendary guest at Namaste Homestay this week. It's been an absolute pleasure having Chris and Wendy around. Stay tuned in about a week's time for Wendy's Doku Challenge, which took part the following day. And yeah, thank you all for watching this over seven minute video. If anyone is still watching at this stage, you are amazing.